Now for the last part of this question then, we're asked to work out the exact value for the area R. So to get that area R then, area R equals the integral of y with respect to x, going from x is 0 to 3 pi upon 2. And if we substitute for y now, 3 cos x over 3, I'm going to put the 3 outside the integral because it's a constant, so I've just got to integrate the cosine of x over 3 with respect to x, going from naught then to 3 pi over 2. To integrate something like this, remember that if you've got to integrate the cosine of, say, mx with respect to x, you should know this as a standard result. The answer is going to be 1 over m sine mx plus c, but we'll, I'll ignore that constant of integration. So that's how we would integrate cos of mx. Well, m in this particular instance is going to be a third, so we end up with the 3 here, and then it's multiplied by 1 divided by 1 third, 1 over m, m being the third here, sine of x over 3. And that's going between naught then and 3 pi upon 2. So if we clean this up, we've got 1 divided by a third. Well, that's going to be 3. 3 times the 3 is 9. And then all I need to do is substitute our values in our limits in. Starting with 3 pi upon 2, we've then got the sine of 3 pi upon 2 divided by 3. So that's just going to be the sine of 3 pi upon 6, or pi upon 2. Then minus, substitute 0 in for x, and that's going to be minus the sine of 0 over 3, or 0. Now, the sine of pi upon 2, which is essentially what this is, the equivalent of sine of 90 degrees, if you like, is going to be 1, and the sine of 0 is 0. So this comes to 1, 9 times 1 is 9. So there's your exact answer for the area of R. And note how that compares to the trapezium rule that we use. That was 8.884. Okay, so uh, there you go. Hopefully uh, you found that fairly straightforward.